What blockchain has lied to you? What blockchain goes down all the time? And what blockchain is the worst and it's still an influencer pump? Next. You know what exactly the blockchain I'm talking about. We're gonna go over four, four or five articles of that blockchain and why it is a pump and dump from the minute it was developed. Next on OG Crypto and NFTs, welcome everyone. My name is Troy and every day we go over the latest news in digital assets, garbage tokens, and non-fungible assets. Let's jump right into it. Very first one, Solana, you got it. I know all you guys out there go, hmm, it's gotta be Solana. Some of you, a couple of you probably said Binance because Binance is teetering right now. Looks like they uh, they haven't been able to back all of their uh, their coins or stable coins or their BNB. So, but with that being said, once again, Solana proved that they're just not there. That this was all a garbage pump and dump. If you're out there and you're listening to influencers that keep telling you every single time that this blockchain continues to go down, that hey, you should get into it, you should get back into it. It's fast. It's NFTs. I I pray that you, how much money that you lost in this isn't very much. Let's go review what's happened in the last few months just before we even go over the next few articles. Number one, who who is the major holder of Solana? Oh, the best pump and dumper in the world. Sam Bankman Free FTX still held what, eight to ten percent of it? Why is waiting for the, the best time to pump it up, let let retail take it off, and then dump on your heads. There's no reason. I can't even believe anyone's building on this garbage, this garbage token. And again, influencer after influencer out there telling you, oh, it's gonna be okay. Oh, it's not the main net. Oh, they give you excuses. Why? Because Solana and, and their VCs are infamous for taking tokens and giving them out to these rich, these influencers and, and give them to them for free and just to pump it up. Guess who else owns a ton of Solana? Mr. Wonderful, ask him what, let's ask Mr. Wonderful here, Kevin O'Leary, why are you holding them? What is the benefit? Don't tell me somewhere in the future is gonna get better. It has not gotten better, it's gotten worse. Let's get into it. Solana developers say reason for network outage still? Unclear. You don't even know why you went down for what, 12 hours? You have no clue, no clue. Let's, it's just, it, it's even funnier when you start reading some of the headlines. Solana blockchain was stuck for more than a day over the weekend, recovering only after validators restarted the network. What, you restarted the network? <laughs> That's a joke, a joke. Next article. Solana network stumbles, on-chain trading slows after forking incident. Well, now they're saying it's a forking incident. Well, it got stuck in the fork, right? You know, some validators are downgrading their software and attempt to restore activity. You're downgrading your software. You're downgrading your software. Oh my God, that is embarrassing. But let's go, let's go really look at the Solana status here. February, 2023, cluster instability. You mean cluster beep, instability. That's all it is. But, but you know what though? Let's, hey, hey. Everyone makes a mistake, don't they? Don't they? Well, let's go take a look at look at it, huh? Well, boom, guys. Let's go November 2022. They didn't have a problem, but October 22, mmm, degraded performance. Mmm, Solana, what's going up? All right, go next. Wow, August, July, you didn't have a problem, but June, oops. Mainnet beta outage. What do you mean? An outage every single quarter? Wow, who's building on this crap? But but you know what? Way back in the day, everything was fine, wasn't it? <gasps> Oops, May had degraded performance three times. April, three times. March, you had, a, you had a several RPC nodes down. You had degraded performance. Hmm, yeah, I wanna go. Do me a favor. I want to go and invest in this. I think what is it best that Rand Neuter had said, you know, everyone has a problem, but they'll they'll come back. 
It's not on the main net. Well, let's go see what happened here a year ago. Oh, network instability, same thing. With the adoption of 1.8.14, the incident has been resolved. Yeah, you were down for days. D-A-Y-S, not for hours, but for days. What a mess, a complete mess. The, the founder lies through his teeth. The, the influencers pump it and what do they do? They dump all over retail. Guys, don't get, don't get suckered into it. I always say, you've heard it from many people. If it doesn't solve a real problem, if it doesn't have utility, then you need to do your own research and at your own risk, get into these things. Stop listening to influencers who are paid. They are paid to pump. They get free bags. They, you don't see that what they get in their bags. They get it, they funnel it through other ways and they can, they can say truly, oh, I'm not getting anything from this. I didn't get anything from that. Yes, it was just rerouted, oh, not directly to you, but into your business or into your wife or into your kids' funds, whatever, just didn't go directly to you. I think this is garbage. I, I will tell you once and for all, you can sit here and you can go, oh yeah, I can play the roulette game with this, but at any time this goes down, you are going further down until one day enough of you are gonna smarten up and you're not gonna invest in any of this crap anymore because it has dumped on you enough and you're gonna walk away and say, hmm, what other top 20 coins I can get into that don't have instability, that are, that do show, hmm, they're, they're showing what they're making every, every quarter. They're doing the, the right things instead of this, which has been caught lying about market cap, caught lying about total circulating supply. They've lied about everything, guys. 2022 was the, the year of the Solana lie, and, it, and the icing on the cake was Kevin O'Leary holding a ton of it, as well as FTX holding a ton of it. That's all gonna get dumped on the market sooner or later. All right, let's jump in. Ah, oh, Gary Gensler, Robinhood subpoenaed by SEC over brokerage crypto business. Well, there's not, well, let's be very honest. First of all, you don't even custody your crypto on Robinhood. Second of all, there's very little, you know, uh, cryptos on Robinhood. And I think that Gary Gensler, who doesn't want to go after Coinbase because Coinbase is deep pockets plus BlackRock is backing it up. Let's just go after the small exchanges that are gonna go pay to play, right? Here's 20 million, here's 30 million, Kraken, here's 30 million, I'm not gonna fight you. Are you kidding me? If you would've got together Kraken with Robinhood, with, I don't know, hmm, Coinbase, with Binance US, and got together and went on the attack and sued Gary Gensler and the SEC, you wouldn't be in this situation. But it's easier to pick you off one by one because you're all a bunch of wussies. All right, so let's jump into NFTs. Let's welcome in Emmy, our producer. How are you doing, Emmy? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing fantastic. The very interesting here on this, this is from Cointelegraph. It says 74% of survey participants say they buy NFTs for status. Uh, yeah, this is obviously like a, a board ape yacht club type of thing i feel like a lot of people are fomoing into nfts simply because they they believe it gives them some status as if it's like buying a bag or buying a car or something like that i think this is interesting um but either way it does get adoption uh happening on a wider scale faster so i feel like there is some benefits to this like uh getting average joe schmo used to holding an nft that he just cool could easily turn into Joe Schmo having his license in his NFT wallet. And so. Right. Well, I think one thing that it's, I get board apes have, you know, board ape and crypto punks have some kind of status. And if you get the doodles and Azuki and Pudgy penguins and whatever, right? Mm -hmm. But what I think the status here also is all these major high end brands that are immediately putting out NFTs that don't really have utility at the moment, but have future utility. And you are the ones that, you opened my eyes on this as we keep seeing this. 
Yeah, and it's, you know, I'm just going to roll right into our next uh, topic here because it goes so perfectly. Can you read that for them? Adidas will scoop out token gated sneaker drops. So just like we were talking about last week with um, Spotify, now people like Adidas are realizing that token gated drops or token gated access to things is going to be a huge way to create like buzz in your community mm -hmm. with like whoever your customer base is. Mm -hmm. So I think this is only gonna keep ramping up and we're only gonna see it happen more and more and more with bigger uh, companies and it's just gonna become part of our everyday life before we realize it. Right, I think so too. I mean, it won't, yeah. And it just, it'll, it'll turn from status to necessity. I think that's where, you know, our status, adoption, necessity, I think those are the kind of the, the three steps yeah. and we, we see it on a daily basis. Obviously we're here all the time and you know, I, you know, even high end brands that I don't even know about, you're, you're all excited about them. Like, mm -hmm. wow, this is coming up. That's, that's heady. And they're putting out NFT. And so with that being said, it all drives people in the NFT world. And then their NFTs are being driven to the metaverse. Yeah. Right. And then you have metaverse adoption. Right. Mm -hmm. So, well, guys, thank you very much for joining us today. It's been a Solana type of day, an uh, anti Solana top type of day. Somebody. That's is, how we is, feel about Solana. Oh, I thought you were holding it. That's why you're uh, no. happy. <laughs> <laughs> so she's a killer girlfriend, by the way. Yeah. A holder. Forever and always. Forever and always. You guys take care, and we will see you manana. Bye.